one of the reasons why countries trade with other countries is that uh, the principle of comparative advantage applies now this uh, principle states that uh, under certain conditions if uh, both two countries can gain through trade if um, even if one of the two is more efficient in the production of everything well let's say we have china and south africa and let's assume that china has an absolute advantage in the production of both laptops and uh, let's say wine now if china devotes 200 units uh, in the production of uh, laptops they can produce 12,000 laptops a day and if they devote 200 units of labor in the production of wine let's say they can produce 2000 liters of wine by me saying devote 2000 units of labor i'm saying uh, if they had 200 people and ask those 200 people to spend the whole day making laptops they come up with 200 laptops right and if they spend the whole day making wine they would come up with 2000 liters of wine and now let's say in south africa South Africa, if they devote 200 units of labor uh, in the production of laptops, they can produce 3,000 laptops. And if they devote 200 units in the production of uh, wine, they can produce 1,500 liters of wine. Now, if you look at uh, my two examples, you are going to see that uh, first and foremost, China is an absolute advantage in the production of laptops because the 200 people can produce 12,000 laptops but in South Africa the same number of people can produce what 3,000 laptops so it means China is more efficient or the other term is we can say China has an absolute advantage in the production of laptops and then on the other hand uh, if they sp if South Africa spends the whole day making wine, they produce 1,500 liters of wine and uh, you see that is less than what China can produce. So at the end of the day, do you notice that China is more efficient in the production of both laptops and wine? So does it mean then that South Africa should sit back and do nothing and then let, South let China, since China has an absolute advantage or is more efficient in producing both items does it mean that then south africa should not um uh, what produce anything well uh, it doesn't mean that because the principle of comparative advantage also applies and what does that mean let us look comparatively so if you look at my numbers the opportunity cost of south of uh, in china for producing one liter of wine is six laptops and the opportunity cost uh, uh, in south africa for producing one liter of wine is two laptops so you can see from that uh, China China's opportunity cost whenever they produce one liter of wine they are giving up what six laptops because if they spend the whole day making wine they are giving up more laptops than if South Africa spends the whole day making what uh, wine because South Africa will them producing wine they give up two laptops if China spends the whole day making wine, they give up six, you see? So if we compare the opportunity cost of making what? Of making uh, wine is, is bigger in China than it is because China will have to give up six laptops, whereas South Africa will only have to give up two laptops. So what has to happen here? You can clearly see uh, which, um, uh, which thing or which resource should um, uh, South Africa concentrate on uh, or not resource which products should, should South Africa concentrate on and which product should uh, China concentrate on making uh, if uh, if you want to answer before I proceed then yes put the answer in the comment section and uh, yeah we can see if you got it right right so what can happen here now, the best thing that can happen is if China uh, spends uh, all its resources in the production of laptops and let's say they exchange three laptops with one liter of wine. Because anyway, if they do it themselves, whenever they have to gain one liter of wine, they would have to give up six laptops. Okay, so if they trade, if they concentrate on making only laptops and now they have 
six laptops, right? Uh, that remember them giving up six laptops they'll get one liter of wine but now they don't have to make wine on their own they now spend their whole time they, they, they are out their whole day making laptops so they have for every six laptops they can now get two liters of wine because they can exchange with South Africa for what for uh, for three right so they give South Africa three laptops they get one liter they give them the other three they give another liter so china gets now two liters of wine do you see that uh, problem solved if china spends its whole day making laptops and then exchange laptops for wine they would actually gain how about south africa remember the opportunity cost for making one liter of wine in south africa is two laptops but now they're exchanging what uh, one liter of wine with three laptops South Africa is also gaining. So what is the solution? The solution is clear. South Africa can specialize in the production of wine and then China specializes in the uh, production of laptops. Now both countries are going to be better off if they trade. So that is us saying, oh, so why do countries trade with, uh, with each other? The answer is simple. The principle of comparative advantage applies. Okay, any questions? Comment down below. I'll get back to you. Thank you. God bless. Subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that notification bell.